Hello everyone, today I'm going to explain five technical questions from the CCNA exam. Let's look at the first question. It says, according to the configuration above, when there is an IP address conflict, what rules does the DHCP server use? So, what kind of rules are used here? The rule is that the conflicting address will be removed from the address pool, right? It will only be added back after the conflict is resolved. In other words, this address won't be assigned, and only when there's no conflict will it be put back in, right? The correct answer is A. Now let's move on to the second important question. The second question asks which command is used to determine the IP addresses assigned by the DHCP server, that is, to check which addresses have been allocated by DHCP. The correct answer is C, which means to view the binding relationship between the addresses distributed by DHCP and the host identifiers. The host identifier could be generated based on the MAC address, or it could be produced by other means, such as time or various other codes. So the correct answer to this question is indeed C. All right, let's look at the next question, the third one. So regarding address lookup, what is considered the authoritative source? It's asking us, what is the authoritative source for address lookup? That is, when performing recursive address lookup, when we enter a domain name, it will recursively query the DNS server performing a DNS search. So the correct answer is A. If you want to learn Cisco technologies or get access to Cisco question banks, feel free to send me a private message or leave a comment below the video to discuss technical topics. All right, question four. So, for the fourth question, there are many possible answers or options, but it is a single choice question. This question is a single choice one. Let's take a look and analyze these options. Uh, the question specifically asks us this. On Cisco routers, within the Cisco router's operating system image, which particular command is typically used to effectively verify the operational status of the DHCP relay agent functionality? First of all, this particular command, option A, is indeed incorrect. The correct command is show IP interface brief. This specific command uh, is primarily used to view the IP addresses and their current statuses, but it will definitely not display any information about the relay agent. Uh, the relay agent in this context specifically refers to this particular address. This hyper address won't be shown, so option A is incorrect. Next, option B, the command show IP DHCP binding, is specifically used to view the IP address leases that have been assigned by the DHCP server. This means it is utilized to accurately check the current lease time for various devices. The command show IP route, on the other hand, primarily displays the comprehensive routing table of the network device. Therefore, considering these functionalities, all of these presented options are indeed incorrect in the context of the problem. As for the next available option, which is the command show IP route, the absolutely correct answer to this particular question should be D, which is the command show IP interface. This specific command is primarily utilized to thoroughly check the physical interface status and the current link status of the network connection. Isn't that correct? And finally, option E, show interface, is incorrect. This option is for viewing the physical interface and link status, so E is wrong. And what about option F? F is also incorrect. It is used to view the address pool, right? The correct answer to this particular question is indeed, DD is the only command that possesses the capability to effectively display this specific kind of address. More precisely, the relay agent address. The correct answer is D. All right, question five is also about DHCP. So this particular question asks us what kind of essential information is typically stored on a DHCP server? Well, what the DHCP server primarily stores is the address pool, basically a comprehensive list of address pools. Other things like public IP addresses are all generally incorrect, and things like terminal usernames and associated passwords are also entirely wrong. 
and statically assigned MAC addresses are also incorrect. The correct answer is A. Let's look at the correct answer, it's A. All right, submit. If anyone is interested in learning about Cisco Technologies or wishes to gain access to Cisco Question Banks, please feel free to send me a private message. Alternatively, you can simply leave a comment below the video to join the technical discussion.